I have just fed them. Check out that smaller baroon. The bigger one had two, one foot plus mackerel, full, not, not cut. And the smaller one had three. I was amazed when he grabbed the third. The third. Look at that tummy. It looks like he ate a horse. Nobody ate, ate anything, by the way. None of the cats shown any interest. The Paco and the Lucy struggled with the whole mackerel. I mean, they can break it if, they, if you give them enough time, but the Paroons didn't give them enough time. They grabbed, the, the small one grabbed three very quickly in succession. The bigger one grabbed one and then hesitated for maybe five minutes and then uh, grabbed a second one. I mean, it was obvious he wanted it, but he was skittish. He was afraid still. It took the smaller baroon probably about 20 minutes to swallow the third mackerel because there was no, no place in there. So he worked on it for quite a bit of time. The big baron is showing some rambunctiousness for some reason right now towards the other baron and the Paco. There he is, he just threatened uh, Indian shovel nose. In the last episode, it was vice versa. The shovel nose was bothering them. Right now, the big Paroon is perked up. Something's got under his skin. I don't know what. He ate two big mackerel. He should be very happy and fat and full and relaxed, but he's not. <laughs> Well, oftentimes things happen that we cannot predict. Maybe he's still hungry? I, I don't think so. He hesitated for a good five minutes before grabbing the second mackerel. I was practically begging him to, to grab it in my mind so that I could finish the feeding and go. What do you want? Yeah, now the Indian shovel nose is showing him unhealthy attention. There he is. Giving him a little chase. As you see, there is nothing to worry about, really. It's just a chase or a slight nudge or a bump. If it takes a fin in his mouth, it, it doesn't leave any marks. The fin is not damaged, so it's not... It's not vicious territorial aggression. But it is a territorial aggression nevertheless. Is he freaking out like that? That's strange. There is no reason for him to behave like this. Actually, I think it's a her. The bigger one is probably a her, and the smaller Perun is a he. swimming much faster all of a sudden all around. Just a minute ago he bumped into the Indian shovel nose with an open mouth and the Indian shovel nose's muzzle ended up in the Perun's ma open mouth but he didn't he didn't hurt him 
just just accidentally. It's bizarre. Indian shovel nose is chasing sexy. Chasing the big Perun. But the whole cat is feeling pretty pretty confident. Well, anyhow, just wanted to show how much the Peruns ate, which made me happy. Because I feed once in four days, and by the end of the third, fourth day, they get hungry, I can tell. They start taking an interest in their tank mates in an unwelcome way. Like, could I eat you? Kind of an attitude. So when I feed them, when they feed very well, that means they're all set for another four days and everything should be fine. Well, that's our story. Sticking to it.